Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with a, uh, a kind of new series. Uh, this is Stoneblock, and I was looking for a pack to play since I just got done with Q-Tech, and I noticed that Stoneblock had actually just updated, oh, uh, what, about a week and a half ago or so? And I never actually, like, finished this pack, right? I uh, played on a server that my buddy Reek was hosting, uh, me and a few other players got into it. Basically did it on the stream a bit. And just kind of fell away from it. So. Start off here though. We're just going to. Uh, have some noisy traffic go by. And punch some stone. And the good news is. We're actually getting pebbles out of this. So. Eh, probably good enough for now. Uh, let's go ahead and check your quest book. Start a stone block. The start. Get 16 pebbles. Gives us a loot chest. Okay. Next is make a stone crafting table. Oh, that's easy enough, right? Cobblestone. Yep, there's our stone crafting table. Gets us another loot chest. And then dirt. Craft a stone hammer and start smashing. Well, let's see. And it does have to be an empty hand. If you're holding pretty much anything in your hand, it won't work. But I can do that. And then... There's st well, I need two stone rods. And then I can use these guys to make uh, a few things. But main thing is, I want a stone hammer. Hey, first tool. And now when I mine this stuff, it becomes cobblestone. So I can do all these wonderful things now. And it wants me to get some dirt. Which, eh, shouldn't be a problem. The quest book kind of lined it out for me a bit here. Oh, yeah. Um, controls. Key of grave. Oh, yeah, look. I'm going to put that there. Key of tab. I don't need this. You're working. You're working. Hey, look. And, hey, we got dirt. Quest complete. Go ahead and grab ourselves a loot chest. And next is like, hey, make a stone crook. And the recipe function's not working. Okay. Yeah. So, stone crook is four pebbles. I've got six left. So, very good. Oh, really now? Is there another stone crook? Yeah, there's this stone crook. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Just gotta make the right one. Quest complete there, and now it's like, hey, get a bunch of saplings. So, not a hugely hard thing to do. Uh, I am going to... Actually, I'll just use the hammer on that. Oh, cobble. Thank you. Dirt here, and... Crook the dirt. Hey, tons of saplings. And... What do I get for rewards here? Got some viaduct. Goggles, ribbons, and a bow tie. Botanius, a little uh, vanity thing. There you go. Aren't I pretty now? And compact giant chance cube times seven. Yeah, no, we're not doing that yet. And a diamond shield. Huzzah. Uh, oh, actually, it doesn't even show up. Okay, I, I might keep that around. No, it, it could interfere with uh, right-clicking of things. But the thing is, is now, 
I'm going to need more saplings. I didn't even get a single oak sapling yet. So a lot of that is just going to be kind of sort of this for now. Hollow out my room, get some cobble, turn the cobble into dirt, you know, so on and so forth, right? And there we go. And oh yeah, I had gravel left, so and oh, dirt. Okay. The only one I'm really worried about is actually dark oak saplings right now, which I've gotten three of. Because everything else I can pretty much grow, but dark oak you actually need four saplings to grow the tree. Okay, got it. So now everything else, I can just do this. Possibly, there we go. All right, there's my oak saplings. And punch it down by hand here. I can do that for the other trees as well, right? Uh, acacia might grow in here. I think it's be good enough. Course, same time it might not be too. Yeah, no, it's looking like it's not wanting to do that. So, time to uh, kind of empty all this out a bit. All right, and last train. There we go. Got all the saplings, and a tall enough room that I can actually grow trees in it now. So uh, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Another loot crate, awesome. Hey, I need 16 oak wood. Great, right? Um, get ourselves some chest made though. I'm starting to get a decent amount of stuff. And apparently it wants me to do oak wood, right? Actually here, uh, give me that. Why did you shift click to the bottom? That is weird. And just to make my life a little bit easier on myself. Let's get ourselves an ax here. Let's uh, kind of sort of get things, you know, arranged how I like it. Fast leaf decay for the win. Always good. And it looks like probably one more tree here. And tree. 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 Yep, awesome. And because I know what's coming up next, because, well, we have X Nile though. Let's grow another tree. And get some silkworms going. Sweet. Actually, got a decent amount of apples. Uh, yeah, let's just do that for now, I guess. So, loot chest. And then, hey, look, string. Tinker stuff. Storage. Oh, it didn't count the chest I made. Well, that's a bit of a shame now, isn't it? I guess I'll just have to make another chest. Uh, let's go ahead and use the birch wood, I think. Birch trees are great underground because they only grow so high, but uh, not that fond of the wood. Ta ting There we go. Storage is unlocked, and that should have unlocked this chapter for me. So got drawers, I got refined storage here. I've got AE2 here. Black hole units from industrial pork going, black hole tank, storage crates, up to including a quantum storage unit, and quantum tank. And you're pretty much done, so. Uh, cry with stabilized flux duct. How many of those did I get? Eight. <laughs> Awakened draconium crux, awesome. 
and stone and oak wood. Okay, that's actually kind of handy there. Now the crux is actually really handy, but not yet. Requires two blocks of insanium, a dragon heart, two insanium, a block of awakened draconium, a block of diamond. Yeah, so a decent amount of materials. Okay, right. broke the crook, complete the quest though, and let's go ahead and get the rest of that. Tree be gone, and we'll just plant another one. Uh, so back to start a stone block. Hey, string. Done. Now once we get some sieves, a mob farm, tinker tools, floral fertilizer from Batania. All the fun stuff, right? So here, let's go ahead and... Okay. More Batania baubles. Kind of a shame that it's the, the same one, right? And... Slab. Actually, I'm going to need more planks. And say sieve, right? Sieve. Done. There you are. Oh, that was quest as of itself. Okay, cool. And then I'm just going to need one of you. Get a mesh going. Eh, it's just 216 for now, I think. Get some gravel. We're going to actually flint, right? Can I craft this? We do have tinkers, right? So, uh, yeah, three or four. Or from string mesh. Oh, I can get actual resources out of this too. 13%. Uh, let's see. Just do this way. All right. Hey, Flint. Dump that. Oh, I actually can't upgrade. Okay. Mesh, not mech. Mesh. Flint stiffened mesh. I only needed four Flint. Very good. But that will get me better returns on oh, pretty much everything. I guess put that away. This was punchy sticks. Uh, it could be kind of handy. Slick mesh quest and then flint mesh quest. Or punchy sticks. And mana lens efficiency and velocity. Uh, not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Let's start off with, hey, look, sieving. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut here. Enlarge this room, get a little bit of stuff and things going. You know, like, say, a furnace. Eh, why don't you do it for now, actually, I think. And actually, check the quest book real quick here. Because, yeah, uh, Crucible's up next. Wooden Oak Crucible. That was a quest. I can feed this thing. Saplings, pretty much. Saplings, leaves, a few other things. I'm being lazy and don't really feel like making a uh, pair of shears right now. I'm just going to do it this way. Wow. Fingers are not wanting to work today. Get out of there. Thank you. Or those. Do that. Compressed crook. There we go. Boom. That's what? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, actually, I won't even let you put in more than ten. 
And there we go. So one thing I need though is uh, just two for now, I think it will work. So gravel, dirt, to sand, to dust. Now I can take said dust. And when this thing's actually full, I can drop it in here, turn it to clay. So I'm going to need one more, aren't I? Hey, there went my hammer. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Uh, and since it broke on that hit, it didn't actually count as, uh, as hammering the dirt. Just a weird thing how they work. Because the tool breaks, it doesn't actually complete how everything happened. And so I need three of you guys. One for a bucket, and then two for an infinite water source. But that'll give me something else to work towards in the meantime. Alright, so I've uh, got a little work done. Got myself a furnace going. Getting a decent amount of iron, and actually getting mobs now. I just went ahead and Duck a tunnel down 20 blocks and then put a good size room down here. Just your basic standard dark room mob spawner. And then it's got my first loot bag. Prismarine, glasses, X utility suit wrench, and some icosahedrons. And yeah, no. We're not doing those quite yet, but I will put on the glasses. Uh I like the goggles better, I think. And the glasses are fabulous, mind you, but they don't hold a candle to the goggles. Also, I've got a 5x5 five five block of sieves, and I've started putting iron step and mesh into them. I should probably put the prismarine away, too. And it's been helping get resources. But, uh, let's see. Neat bone meal, right? Hey, I've got three bones. Sweet. Actually... Check your quest book for the, uh, the mob farm. Okay, well, I did do the iron mesh here and the crucible. And actually, I made a couple metal buckets for reasons. This is one of them. I get a loot chest as a reward for that. So, epic bacon, awesome. Speed upgrades, eh, it's only two, but. I mean, it's a start, right? And more punchy sticks. Which I guess I could put down here in my mob farm. I don't have a, a decent way to auto-collect items yet, though. It's a problem. So, I'm probably going to hold off on those for now. But hey, food. So, I wanted to check on this quest. Once we have six bones, okay. Yeah, I have ways to go on that yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll get more bones later, and then I need seven clay. There's our porcelain clay. We're going to turn it into an unfired crucible, and gotta wait for iron to get done. Hey, mobs! Hey, guys! Nope. Okay, hey, creeper's dead. Spiders, they got reach. I hate it. All right, what'd I get? Uh, more rotten flesh. Common loot bag with leather tunic in it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put that on. There we go. Got my biker jacket on. And almost done with the iron. Sweet. 
And some more gunpowder is not bad. Hey, solidify experience is awesome. And I went ahead and made myself a wooden barrel so I can make clay in it. Made up a decent amount of that. Got my infinite water source right here. Hey, you're done. There you go. And I even got a few diamonds so far. So that's why I upgraded to iron. You can't get diamonds until you upgrade to at least iron mesh. There's a diamond mesh, but I prefer being able to do right now six at a time versus one at a time with the single diamond mesh I have. Eh, crucible. Hooray. Now, just for fun, we're going to put that there. And it's going to slowly work on melting cobblestone down for me. But I am out of cobble, actually. Wow, I used it all up already. I mean, I know I sieved quite a bit of it, but I thought I still had some around somewhere. Nope, guess not. Although I can do, like, that and get rid of those stones. Well, one of them destroyed itself. There you go, that one broke up. And I guess we'll just concentrate on taking this back another another block. All right, one, two, three, four. And since I've got this now, let's go ahead and grab five of you. We need five bricks. So that can go into there. Uh, bone meal can just go in there for now. Uh, give me, actually, give me two of these spruce. I'm trying to cut down on the uh, the variety of items I have. So, use up what what I can for right now. And hey, look, no mobs though. Hmm. I did leave mobs on on my mini map, so just to to kind of help things a bit. I have any? Okay, I've got four apples left. Give me one of those. Give me... I've got saplings on me. We're going to do that. And... I do have one of those left. And let's see what I can make here. All right. One, two, three, four. You in the middle. Wooden casing. And then one, two, three. One, four. And give me just like four of these, would you? Small storage grate. Nah, it's just going to go there for right now. You're done. Sweet. Now we're just going to be like, hey, uh. Get upside down hat, it's a bonsai pot. Stack it on top of a hopper, becomes a hopper bonsai pot, or hopping. That can go right there now. And give me some dirt, and then that apple sapling. Yoink, there we go. It's gonna start automatically growing tiny apple trees for me. And I'll get things like leaves and saplings and apples and sticks and logs and effort free. Hey, I just had a mob spawn in. It's a Zombles. Just one. He's got googly eyes. He's dead. And, ooh, rare bag. Growth crystal. Magma slime. Inferium seeds. Lily pad and a drawer key. That's actually kind of handy. Not gonna lie. And Epic Bacon's just amazing food. So let's see. Crucible quest is done. We're waiting on lava to come in for that. And a flask of adrenaline. Six chugs per flask. Gives me haste two for a minute and a half. That will actually come in handy. Are you still not done? Oh, you gave me a stick that time. Awesome. Awesome. That'll come in handy for expanding my base, though. And we're about 400 millibuckets out of a thousand for the lava. Yeah, that takes a little while, doesn't it? And these are just regular lily pads. Now, what can I do with lily pads, right? I can make a slime pie, I can make an imbuing station, heart containers, and solidifiers. 
I can sawmill eight lily pads into pulped biomass. I can actually grow them if I want more. That's kind of handy. I can make forestry biomass with lily pads and a melter. Is that place over lava to melt items? Okay. Enchanter for aqua affinity. Okay. Sag mill and sterling generator. You can actually burn them. Yeah, no, I think I'll uh, I think I'll keep the lily pads for now, really. If I get slimy dirt, then I can actually plant those slime saplings there into a into a bonsai pot. Hey, look, we're getting wood and sticks. Got some leaves now. Awesome. But this is what I want to make next: the cobblestone generator. Only holds thirty-two blocks. Makes one cobblestone every two, uh, basically two seconds. Forty ticks, right? And cobble gin. What are you? Creative cobble gin from Compactor. Hmm. But I need cobblestone, glass, water, and lava, pretty much. In any of its various forms. You know, regular metal bucket, clay bucket, chicken eggs. Right, let's go ahead and I guess let's sip up some dirt since I have some. Oh, no, you can't sip dirt in iron meshes. That's right. You can only sip dirt in string meshes. It's just one of those things. Also, I'm going to get more cobblestone this way. I would love it if I could actually like break even. Because then I could actually just run all this stuff back through. And I got literally nothing out of that. And hey, cobblestone. Hey, I got some grass seeds. Actually, that is the one thing I wanted. All right, let's go ahead and grab like 14 of these then. And put it just in the middle. Hey, basic storage drawer. And what else did this go? Oh, it just hadn't. Hadn't ding yet, but hey, new chest. Stone and wood. All right, well, the wood can go away. The smooth stone can go there for now. And now it can go away. Hmm. And yeah, no mobs still. You're 750, so you're three quarters of the way there. That's not bad. Tell you what. That can go right there, because that's where we're... My cobble generator is going to go right here and it'll automatically insert up here. Cobblestone. Give you a lock. All right, awesome. So, yeah, we're kind of sort of making progress. It's actually not bad. And got all sorts of just miscellaneous stuff. Hey, I can make IC2 plant balls. I can make Podzel if I get my hands on some rich fighter grow. And I can make Evil Craft Leaves Brush, Biomass from Cyclic, Throwing Torch from Cyclic. Okay. And it's still like nothing there. You're doing okay though. And apples are really cool because you can actually, uh, you can smelt them into cooked apples and they're really good food. Not quite as good as Epic Bacon though. Actually, here, let's go ahead and grab like that, at least, and we're going to toss you into there. Just to get all the saplings in there. And there's those. Let's put the silkworms in there. There we go. Just opened up some available space in our chest. And I'll put the inferium seeds in there, too, because it's not going to hurt anything. I do have a trash can, so there we go. Ha, huh, 15 millibuckets left to go. I mean, at least it's reasonably quick, but it's not not exceedingly quick, right? So I got some lead, tin, I got some osmium, and copper so far. Not the not the greatest amount of resources, but I mean it's working, right? It is definitely working. So one thing I do want to do is let's look up cobble again, right? You see all these facades and whatnot. What we're going to do is go to hide ingredients mode, and uh, is it 
Control right click, hide by wildcard. And then hide by wildcard. Refine storage ones take actually a second to, to do. Boom, boom, and done. Now if I leave this mode, boom, hey, look at that. We've only got less than a page of items made out of cobblestone now. Right, it helps. Hey, lava bucket. And I need six of you, one of you. And I want to make that. There we go. Oh, can I have my buckets back, please? Thanks. Hey, cobble generator tier one. Now a tier two is I surround this thing with iron. I seem to have some iron. I will gladly do that. So you go to that. There's our tier two. A tier three is gold. Blaze rods. That's tier four. Tier three is diamond. Okay. There we go. And the tier two generator. Uh, let's see. Tier two is one block every 20 ticks. So once a second. So it's twice as fast as the tier one is. Definitely worth upgrading. Dude, <laughs> you are not welcome. My home. One down, two down. I think I just got a creeper head. So it's not the best mob farm, but it works. Tree. Thank you. Lots of saplings. Very good. Yep, creeper head. I got a bone. Got some arrows. Yeah. Tons of tons of good stuff, right? So next up here is a compacting drawer, which would be a good thing to upgrade to. I might actually go ahead and do that. Cause I think I don't have any redstone. Never mind. Can't do it. No redstone. Uh flask of fleet feet. Speed two for a minute and a half. Growth test crystal tier three. Works on a nine by nine farm. Checks up to ten blocks up and down. Uses water source. Sponges cannot be placed around it. Uh, okay. Got a tier three and I got a tier one. They're both from tiny progressions. So, well, that's going to be fun. All right, give you a sort. And then well, you've already got a stack going. So let's go ahead and put you here. There we go. Now, downside is it spits out just regular gravel. Because then you have to go manually recompress it. Not the greatest, but I mean, it works. All right, and then you. And then sand. And dust, because I need redstone, right? You always need redstone. And, you know, other resources. It's kind of nice to have. If I could actually get my hands on, like, some Eulorium, that would be awesome. I think that's, yeah, Eulorium is on sand, so. Because then actually, with Eulorium, you can speed up your lava crucible thingy quite a bit. All right, that's what I get. I got charge certs. I got regular certs. I got some gold, silver. I got three pieces of redstone. I got some black quartz, glowstone, skystone. Hey, bone meal, blaze powder, and there we go. Some nickel. Right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to need 
Actually, give me one more plank there. Make ourselves another drawer. Like so, we're gonna make a compacting drawer, which is pistons, right? Compacting is two pistons and an iron. Okay, there's eight. Just gonna grab a few of these and turn them into planks. And I need three iron. There's that, that. There's our pistons and then compacting drawer. And now what I'm going to do is grab that sapling from up there that I just barely saw. I'm going to unlock. Uh, I don't have a regular pick, this, that's kind of a pain. And we're gonna put a compacting drawer here. And boom, and that'll automatically turn any cobblestone I have. Oh, it's up to three double compressed already, cool. But any cobblestone I have will automatically get turned into compressed and double compressed. I'm not gonna hold more, but it removes a step whenever, you know, I wanna get some gravel out or whatever. I don't have to compress it first. And boom, hey, that chest is full. Yay. Go ahead and get some more of that going. You're doing wonderfully. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can pop off with real quick? Well, storage was that. Now I need comparators to make the drawer controller. Ooh, overclocker and transformer. How a bunch of painted overclockers? 10Ks, which is just, you know, like water surrounded by plates. Yeah. Not a terrible amount of a pain, but eh, enough. And let's see. Next up is the nether, right? Need 10 obsidian and flint and steel. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna worry about that quite now. Or quite now. Yes, quite yet. Or right now, or... Hey, unlock power generation. Also, solar panels and a sky block, or a stone block. Good stuff. Prosperity shards come from sand, I believe. Uh, Draconic's still locked, and so is Project E. But Oh well, I mean, a little overpowered to get Project E early, right? Hmm. You're the one in here, zombie. Why the hell were you hiding in the corner? But I think I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're looking forward to this series, and until next time, sign signing out, have fun.